Divine Love, it's your boy, Exo Shaquem, you feel me? Alright, I'm 17 years old, yep. I'm um, from Boston, I grew up in Mattapan. Um, I, still, I still live in Mattapan to this day. That's my spot, you know what I mean? That's where everything happened, that's like the foundation. But that's, some, that's something that I can't take back, that's not something that I regret. It's like, Mattapan is homeland, man. Um, so I'm a recording artist, you know, I do music um, as well as fashion, fashion's my thing too. Um, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to spend some more time on that, learn, learn a little bit more on that. But um, right now, the music thing, man, performing, you know, performance, that's the big thing, that's, that's something I love to do. When I first started doing music, it was like the Boys and Girls Club opened up and stuff, and so like, they had a studio in there, so I'm like 13, 12. I'm like, all right, they got a studio. to make some music, you know? It's not, it's not to be serious. So I'm, in Mattapan, I've always been like the outcast, you know what I mean? Because you got you got the Zoes and stuff, and it's like I'm like a regular, not regular, but I'm a little black kid, don't know how to speak Creole, Haitian Creole, so it's like I'm not really in the loop. So I grew up around like a bunch of Haitians, like all my friends are Haitian. And so um, it kind of kept me isolated to a sense that we all black people, we all cool. Um, we all live in the same community, but it's like that kind of like separated me to you know That's kind of pushed me aside a little bit And so I kind of like had a lot of time growing up like by myself like isolated And so um, you know throughout that time It's like I learned a lot about myself and I'm still in the process of learning, you know more and more about myself but um That, that gave me some space to actually like, you know, think about things and kind of see life from a different perspective which you know obviously form like a sense of understanding which I'm trying to present my music you know what I mean so yeah I'm, and it's, it was a blessing I love this stuff like everything I make I love it you know to um especially like when it comes to like performing and being able to express it with other people even though it's like even though it's not out on like streams and I don't got it up on um SoundCloud or nothing like that. It's like when I perform it though, it be solid and you know people be messing with it. So um, yeah, I, I'm proud of it. You know, it's, it's got me a long way. It kind of got me to where I'm at right now. Where it's like, yo, that boy kind of that boy on a come up. But it's just like, you know, where he about to go after this, and that's that's where it gets you. You know, what I mean, that's where it gets me sometimes. But it's like, I know there's expectations that's kind of set for myself. You know, from my like expectations I set for myself as well as expectations other people set for me it's a good feeling i mean mainly because i'm young so it's like when people find out i'm 17 they're like oh they're like so that means you got mad time bro and i'm like i guess you could say that but once once i pass like that 18 mark or that that 19 20 mark it's like i'm just another kind of artist that have to prove himself in order to be accepted the reason i make music is because i can see I see how much of an impact music is, especially like in the black communities. And it's like, if I'm able to, you know, translate, even though a lot of people do it, you know, hip hop, that's what it's all about. It's like translating what we go through, creating into music, you know what I mean? So other people can feel it and we can express ourselves. But it's like, I love bringing people together, you know? So it's like, if I got a message, if I got something I want to get across, and I got a bunch of people, especially like in my city, that supports this message, you know, we kind of follow, along the guidelines of these messages, it's like, you know, it means a lot to me, because it's like, okay, we could really change the world, you know, with just, just a song. And I, that's the beauty of it. My, my goal is to definitely impact, impact this city in like a, a way no one has really ever, you know, attempted. Since I'm young, it's like, there's a lot of people, you know, that have more experience than me that I, I look up to. You know, I look up to them, and they might not have the same vision I do. You know, so it's like I look up to them, but they're trying, they're going in this direction. I'm trying to go in this direction. Um, but it do give me the opportunity. It does give me the opportunity to like pick up, you know, some things that that person may have and apply it to my life, and you know, try to function the way I want to function. Peace. You know, it's like a, a peace headquarters. It's, um, it's mainly youth in there, so we make music. You know, I was a YO, a youth organizer, for two years. And so my first year at Teen Empowerment, um, I made this song called Salam. And Salam's just like, 
it's basically like a song that empowered the brothers, you know what I mean? I can't fight, I can't breathe without my brothers. My brother, my brother, my brother, my brother, my brother, my brother. You feel me? That's a little hook. And then um, for the verse, it's like, I need peace, huh? Love for my hood. I play my part, huh? Have faith in my hood. We only relate to the same thing. So I can we focus and maintain when we point our fingers and place blame? Society's just trying to bring us down. Rob us to the culture and shut us down. Fight for the change and let's get it now. Win it now. Present it now. Huh? Tell me what's next. Tell me what's new. I'll break it down. It's up to you. I swear to God. I performed that song like a thousand times in many different spaces, you know, from spaces where it's like a bunch of white people that, that just, they just go with the beat, you know what I mean? They're not really listening to it to a space where it's like, I'm able to like look face to face with, you know, another brother and it's just like, yo, I hope you're feeling this, you know what I mean? Like, um, yeah, and I mean, I'm willing to do that. I'm willing to, to collaborate with other people. I'm able to get that opportunity by being a part of these organizations that, you know, support, support local artists as well as like incorporate the social justice work you know, with this music stuff, man. I think it's gonna, it's really gonna go a long way. In terms of the old MCs, I mean, there's definitely been times where I performed in a space where it was kinda, um, for example, like open mics at DAP, you know what I mean? They, they give me respect, they like, okay, young brother got his mind somewhere else, I like it, um, he ain't just bluffing. And I think that's that's something that motivates me um, because like, you know, if, if some, the people that kinda, kind of shape the way the city is, you know what I mean? The, the, the foundation that the city has built from, you know, these people that kind of shaped it, they giving me like good advice, they trying to tell me, you know, how to, get around, how to get around and whatnot. I think it's, um, I think it's dope. I'm like um, 15 to like 18. And that's why I'm trying to, like at this moment, I'm trying to kind of elevate myself. Cause it's like, you know, if this is something, if this is good content that people are feeling, if it has like a message that you know people think is necessary to be shared, it's like I, right, you know, the youth, we got it, you know, we got it down packed. Now how could we, you know, show these people that you know older people that you know this is this is where it's at. I'd definitely say, like for real, for real, Nate Nix. Nate Nix is that guy. I right? Nate Nix is absolutely that guy. He was there when I wrote Salam. You know, um, he was someone that was like holding my back up like yo bro you gotta get this like yo what's what's the next lyric like what's what you about to do man you gotta you gotta it's progression you know what i mean progression you gotta keep elevating making the song you know what you want it to be and um for, for that i, I just want to say thank you to nate nix for real so hopefully you know i reach i reach the big boy stages you know but um i perform places like the the strand theater um what else strand theater Dap, you know what I mean? Dap, um, a couple more spots. Hibernian Hall, you know, these different like low-key venues. Um, and it's been, the experience is, is dope. And it's just like, with me, and when it comes to performing and me, it's like, I just get hungry for more. You know, depending on what time of the year it is, if I'm making more music or, you know, if I'm just like feeling that vibe to go out there and express myself on a mic. So my best show, the best show I ever performed at was on Yes Fest. Yes Fest 2019, January 18th. Um, it was at the West End House. That vibe was crazy. Cause I mean, I'll, I'll explain why too. Cause um, first of all, I have my little, so I like my little gadgets. I, I can't go nowhere out with my little gadgets. It's a part of who I am as an artist, all right? So some people, you know, walk up in this, some people can walk up in this spa, hop on the stage, like bars out here, like, oh, that boy got bars. But with me, there's many different, many different things that kind of contributes to you know who I am as an artist, and so a couple. You want me to name a couple of those things? That I right, so my smoke machine. That's my baby. I got two of them now. My smoke machine. I right, um, I got my lights. You feel me? I color man. I can't I can't do nothing without the color. Um, I just started to do this new thing where I um, project visual arts, like live um, like live art, just like you know going all over the place uh, during throughout the performance. And just having my peoples there, you know, family friends. That's just like a vibe to me and just them supporting even if we're in a space where you know not too many people are like familiar with who I am and whatnot um you know at the end of the day as time goes on the show continues oh, it's like they'll, they'll get a you know I mean, they'll get a little catch of who I am and um that's like the beauty of it it happens every single time 
But I remember that one, that one experience. Going these spaces, they're like, oh, this dude, he young as hell. So it's like, I kind of get singled out, which is, which is dope. Um, but it's like all about backing myself up when it comes down to that, you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, he's the youngest person, but like, how much is he accomplishing? You know, because I know there's, I know there's people that I kind of encountered where it's like, they've been making music for a minute, but they don't got that like performing as that aspect of them. And I'm just like, you know, that kind of gives me a little foot. And so um, I just gotta continue to build on that. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, I mean, my, I'm, I'm spiritually driven. I feel like when it comes to knowing myself and, and knowing my impact and knowing how much I'm able to to do and pull out of myself. Um, I think that's a big thing. A lot of people just go out here and, you know, do everything for a little bit of clout, a little bit of tension, but it's like with me, it's like, I gotta have that self-respect first. I gotta have that self-confidence. I gotta know where I'm at. I gotta know where my head's at, um, as well as the energy around me and be able to like maintain that and um, yeah, keep moving forward.